Any more bottle in that flask, Tom? Quick, give me them boy knackers here, quick. And there it is. The avian perfection of a tawny owl swooping back to roost. If that's not worth five hours in a diseased tree, then I don't know what is. Is there anything finer? Possibly the sight of a hungry barn owl savaged by a limping vole. But that's arbitrary, Jane, that's arbitrary. Sights we've seen, you and I, Tom, over the years. Young chick taking its first flight. A mother protecting her nest by clawing at my face. That speckled owl with irritable bowels trapped in my cagoule. Some nights I dreams of a snowy owl in moonlit flight. Or a curved beak unhooking my bra. What? Nothing. No, that, that weren't nothing. You said something about a curved beak unhooking your bra. All right, all right. So I long for the caress of a tightly feathered wing. I'm not ashamed to admit it, Tom. I, I love owls in that way. But Jane, this is a betrayal of everything. How could you? Oh, come on. Who doesn't fantasize about the post-coital hoot of the American Grey? That muscular chest sculpted by years of flight. Those sharp talons suddenly tender and gentle. It's wrong. Women and owls, it's against nature. The erotic thrill as its head turns right round. Those massive eyes hinting at the possibility of sharp beak. Kisses. You want it as desperately as I do. You stop it now. You stop it now. Say it, Tom. Say it and be free. Come on. All right, it's true. Everything's ruined. This isn't a hobby, it's a sickness. It's all ornithology, Tom. Ornithology. More like hornithology. Innocent birds disporting like streetwalkers for the price of a few dead mice. Is that ornithology? Because I don't think it is. Maybe I've always known it was wrong. Well, maybe, maybe we both have. That tree. It's a tree of shame. We must never look at another owl again. Magpies all right, though, aren't they? Yeah, they're total sluts. Sluts, they are. You always look at a magpie because you always find them sluttish. <laughs>